The armed forces have so far covered an area of about three square kilometers as they seek to mop up unexploded ordinances in all Mororoi area in Gong. The operation, pioneered by Engineers Brigade and led by Brigadier Owino, has recovered 32 detonated munitions, three live munitions and various fragments that locals viewed as harmless pieces of scrap metal and could be sold for money, with some claiming that the munitions contained mercury or are made of aluminium. We had uh, programmed to do it in uh, 30 days, um, but the signal is dictated on the ground now. We are finding some of these things in areas that are wider than what we thought. So really to be dictated by that area. Uh, the, the higher limit is three months. But the effects so pronounced once the harmless looking devices are detonated. Now, my sentries have confirmed, confirmed to me that the area is clear. So now I can fire without any suspicion. Operation Kinga Maisha, initiated by the armed forces through the Ministry of Defense, have set camp in Gong area in an effort to sensitize and educate the locals on the hazards of handling live munitions and ammunition. And they, they were camped along the ridge there. The Kenya armed forces have trained there. The GUC have trained there. The APs have trained here. And uh, the um, uh, KWS have trained here. Some of these security agencies train using this kind of, uh, of ordinances. According to Kajiado North District Commissioner Mwangi Kahiro, the government is planning to compensate families who have suffered from the live munitions. It uh, really put a time frame because it will go through the normal government uh, procedures and we expect maybe at uh, the next level is the committee that sits under the PSC's uh, office to now take up the issue. The battle area clearance team, led by Colonel Radina, are visiting various villages, towns and schools to create awareness on how to handle the munitions once they are discovered. This is the site where the Kenya Armed Forces have just detonated an explosive ordinance. And this are the pieces of metal that remain of that very ordinance that has been termed a very dangerous weapon here in Gong Hills area. Winnie Kimeo, reporting for Channel 1 News at 9.